Today, I'm gonna be spending 24 hours in a dog shelter. It's not gonna be an easy challenge, I know, but there's actually a really important reason that I'm doing this. So I heard about this dog, Coco, that hasn't been adopted yet, and when I heard his story and saw pictures of him, I knew I had to get involved. And I thought if I was gonna stay here, why not completely transform this space, kind of a DIY home makeover, make the interior like a tiny home, but right here at the shelter. Sleeping in a shelter overnight and completely converting this space before dark isn't gonna be easy, so I'm gonna bring in someone that I know can help me get the job done. I'm all, I'm, <laughs> great. Good entry. Hey. My, my lovely wife, hey. Kelly. Even pregnant, I know that she can step up and help me get the job done. Yep. <laughs> that, that didn't sound very confident. That's okay, we're gonna do it. Okay, and you know what? Transforming a space like this in a matter of hours isn't gonna be cheap either. So that's why I wanna say thanks to our sponsor, Vessi Footwear. And I'm really excited to say that they're gonna actually do a donation matching program. More on that later and how you can get involved, but first, I think we gotta start coming up with how we're gonna transform this space. Let's do it. And we gotta go meet Coco. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. Are you going? You're... <laughs> <laughs> we filmed this video a couple weeks ago, and since then, the Maui Humane Society, like a lot of shelters across the nation, have had to close their doors to the public. So I think this video couldn't have come at a more important time. Okay, we're about to meet this little man right here, Coco, to see how we can help. We're gonna spend the whole night together, and this is a really good sign right here. This makes me really happy. I just, I don't know how a dog like Coco isn't adopted just in an instant. I think he likes you. Yeah? All right, let's load him up and take him home. No. <laughs> Wow, now that I've met Coco, I am even more determined to transform that space and to also come up with a plan for him so that after tonight, he never has to live in a shelter again. All right, the clock is ticking on this challenge, so we are getting started by heading to the store. Okay, so you know the plan? You got it all figured out? Well, I know, I know. <laughs> yes, um, but I'm a little worried about what we can actually fit in the space. Do you know the size? Yeah, 10 by seven by four. Are you sure? I, <laughs> I think, I measured it with my foot, which is about, uh, okay. my foot is about a foot. S super accurate. <laughs> hey. Maybe we get a measuring tape, first thing. Okay, first purchase, measuring tape. <sighs> the Maui Humane Society does an excellent job caring for the animals, and this space right here is actually the space that we'll be making over. And this kennel's size and shape is similar to that of rescues and shelters across the nation. Now, outside of a bed, a blanket, water bowl, and food bowl, there's not much in a kennel like this because it needs to serve a very specific purpose to keep the animals safe, and it's meant to be clean and sanitized multiple times daily. Now, the space we're working with right now is four foot by 10 foot. So that's 40 square feet. So while it's more than adequate for any dog staying here in the shelter, <laughs> it's definitely small if you're gonna try to build a tiny home. I've made a basic 3D rendering of this so that you can kind of see the space and so that we can try certain things out like, I don't know, putting a bed in there. Okay, we need a measuring tape. Furniture. And yeah, well, we can, if we get the measuring tape, then we can kind of figure out the size of the furniture we need. And okay. we need, uh, should we get one of those? That's definitely not gonna fit. That's not gonna fit, huh? No. Yeah, so we have to do something different. Like, I think we've got to do, if we can do a futon or a couch or something that is like a sit up and then a lay down. Okay, as Kelly pointed out, a bed is probably not gonna fit. And as you can tell from this diagram, a bed definitely does not fit. So I'm thinking maybe instead we do a couch, something like this. And if we're gonna have a couch in there, let's definitely have some things like rugs. And we need storage for sure. We could do a bunk bed. Okay, the only problem with this, 56 inches wide. 56 inches is too big. Crap, I'm so close to having a bunk bed. I know. <laughs> All right, let's keep looking. Oh yeah. Storage, yeah. you can also use it as another table. Do it, let's throw that in there. Hold on, I'll throw, hold on, pregnant lady. Whoa, hey! <laughs> I could've got that for you. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Oh, oh, hold this. We need, uh, I definitely need some of these. I found them. These are, the, these are the winners. All right, now to the measuring tape. Let's go. This could be good because this could be kind of our dinner table if we need it because it folds out. So living in a tiny home, you have to have everything really compact in this. I think this could do the trick. Could we do like almost like sleeping in a chair sort of thing? Do you want to sleep in a chair? I wouldn't mind for a night, but I'd like I'd, I'd like to find a bed. I, and I think that still takes up a lot of space. But... Oh, yes. Oh, this is, I mean, this is really nice, right? Yeah, it's, it'll be comfy. It's like that centerpiece, and the fact that it lays down, too, could be perfect. My only concern are these armrests. Is there another one without them? Oh, oh here. Oh, oh, look. This one, I don't know how much this one is. But look, that could work. All right, let's get that one. Okay, yes. How are we gonna carry it? I don't know. I don't know, these are all really good questions. We'll have to get a U-Haul. We will figure it out. 
That is so much stuff. Hope it all fits. We don't have a couch yet. Oh my goodness. All right, we're getting started with the setup. I have the rugs first. I think this is only appropriate to start. Yeah. Aloha. I think we get, we put the rug down first. Oh no. It doesn't fit. Did we measure it wrong? I thought you got the measuring tape. No, I thought you, I thought you got the measuring no, tape. No, you were supposed to get the measuring tape. That's why we act. That was the one thing we needed the most was a measuring tape. Well, whose fault is it the rug doesn't fit? You. The very, no, no, you. We're gonna make it fit. Okay, so we have the first rug down, but we didn't get a measuring tape. We definitely fell short by like half the thing, so we've got to go get another rug. While we were setting up the kennel, I passed by this guy right here. His name's Maurice, and I mean, look at that smile. And you wouldn't believe it, but he's 10 years old. He's actually a senior. And so when I found out that it was bath time for him, I, I jumped in, I was like, I gotta help. Because the volunteers at the Maui Humane Society, they, man, they're some of the best group of volunteers and the staff there. Everyone works so hard to help these animals. And so I know we have a lot to do, but I also wanted to jump in and help. And as you can see, Maurice wasn't the biggest fan of it. Uh, <laughs> so I, I was moving fast. We were kind of making a mess. Okay, I just want to point something out here. Most dogs don't like baths, but when they're in a shelter, they're stressed out, and a bath can be a really difficult time. It can get messy, but you did see how my shoes got wet, and so this is a perfect opportunity to talk to you about Vessi footwear and how awesome these shoes are. Now, they're a sponsor of this video, and I love it because, as you saw when I was giving you the bath, this shoe got wet, and guess what? My foot is completely dry, which is really awesome. They're waterproof, they're weatherproof, um, and I was worried that they would be kind of hot if they're, you know, if you've ever had a pair of waterproof shoes, they get really hot. These things, really breathable. And I've owned a pair of these shoes before Vessi ever came to me. So when they came to me and wanted to sponsor the video and they want to do donation fundraising match, I thought, you know what, this is perfect. So for every dollar you donate, they're going to match that up to $5,000. Tell them about the donation? That's what I just said. I just told them. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're, I missed it. <laughs> we're, we're excited. Um, but oh, hey, ah, she's got them too. I'm excited about these shoes. I'm excited about how Vessi said, hey, we want to help support. So go right now to VessiFootwear.com slash Rocky. And when you go there, make sure you enter promo code Rocky because you'll get $25 off. And when you buy a pair of these shoes, you're supporting a company that helps support dog rescue and supports me and what I'm doing. So go get a pair of Vessi shoes right now, VessiFootwear.com slash Rocky. I'll also put a link down in the description, so go click that right now. All the donations will go to the Maui Humane Society, so hit that donation button. Let's prove to the Maui Humane Society just how awesome this dog-loving community is. Oh, and Maurice's bath is over, and he's back to his happy old self. Our staging room, right? Staging room. We have uh, all the stuff that's eventually going to be in this kennel. We're getting it set up over there. I feel like a lot of this stuff we should maybe put in after we get, go back and get the futon. We're already running out of time. I mean, it's midday right now, so we should hustle, go get the futon, and then come back and put all the, the pieces in there. Okay, at this point we are down to the wire. We're back at the store, but it's a lot later in the day than we thought. And I want to make this so that Coco has no idea it's the shelter. It should look like a room. Yeah, like, like a, a tiny home. Like a tiny home. Okay, All right, let's go. Let's do it. Come on. All right, we got everything, but I'm worried we're not gonna have enough time to put it together because we actually have an orientation we're going to. Because I will say, the, the what's really cool about this whole event is it's a slumber party. And so multiple people are all putting their whole candles together. Okay, how's the decorating going? Excellent. All right. So ready. Okay, is there a theme in here? Uh, well, we have a little beef scene going on oh. with the, um, you know, chair. I want my dog to feel relaxed and, you know, just stay at the beach kind of thing. Oh, yeah, Don't look can... at the back. The back is okay. not decorated. Well, that's where the ocean goes, right? <laughs> oh, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. So I can't wait to see everyone else's kennel. I can't wait to meet everyone. But that orientation is definitely going to cut down on the amount of time we have to pull this off for Coco. Whew. Better step on it. Okay, there it is. Go ahead. Assemble it. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about this one because how could a couch fit in here? 
How's it going? I think it'll go together pretty quick, but it's all these little things that just add up and take a lot of time. Putting the whole room together in what, eight, 10 hours? There's not a lot of time left. How, how are you? Give me that camera. I just want to show everyone the behind the scenes here. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm good, I'm supervising. Let's pick up the pace here. Oh, wow, <laughs> wow. Uh, this is Jamie Sue. Jamie Sue, walk me through your theme that you have going on. Oh, it's right not now. quite set up yet, so I'll be it. sleeping on a cloud. It looks so soft. Can I touch it? Yes. Go ahead. That is really satisfying right there. I mean, that. <laughs> Wait till it blows. That's going to be like right. the most satisfying right. night of sleep. I think Coco is gonna love this couch. Okay, but now what? So, we got a lot of stuff. We have the ottoman. Yeah. We have um, a little table. We have all the decorations. Let's just start getting it. And yeah, let's get it in here. I agree. Let's go. We definitely figured out some key items that will fit in the space, like the couch and the rug and the ottoman for storage. But what really makes a house a home, or in this case, a tiny home, is a lot of the small details, like pictures and lighting and things that can really show love and warm up a space. So Kelly told me she's actually working on something secret, so we're gonna head back to the store one more time and get some final pieces. All right, I got a couple of last minute finishing touch items that I'm going to pick up, and uh, I think they're gonna be pretty cool. I'm excited to see them. Hey, thank you. I feel like you're pretty excited about this. Yeah. All right, let's see it. <laughs> yes. Go, go! Oh, that's so cool. Okay, that's one of them. All right, we've got more, we've got more, but wait. Yeah. We gotta wait, we gotta wait for the reveal to show everyone. Okay, 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 let's, okay. Let's go. This, this is coming down to the wire. We are losing our light fast. We still gotta put curtains up, all the pictures. We have to get so much ready still before Coco sees it because when Coco comes in, I want him to know that from now on, this is his home. I accept him as family. Remember when I can stick her fingers in the box, right? Okay, I'm a little worried because it's getting, it's dark. starting to get dark already. Well, we brought some light, so let's get that up. Okay. And that'll help, and then we can get everything else in there. All right, we're we, we are behind schedule. We got to go. Go team. Go. I got one more to put on here. Where should we put it? I think I think right here. Look, there's kind of a spot right in this area. Wow, looks pretty good in here. This in New York would go for thousands of dollars. It's time, it's getting dark. I think we're ready for Coco. How do you feel about the space? I'm excited. My heart is beating really fast. Why don't we go get Coco and I'll walk him through and let's see what he thinks. Okay, let's okay, do it. Come on, come on. Okay, hit that like button if you're as excited as I am for this big moment, the reveal where we find out what Coco really thinks. Good oh, you like the couch? What do you think? Do you think Coco likes it? I think he is pretty happy. It's like he knows, like, this is home. I'll never be in a shelter again. I'll always have a family. I feel like a lot of people would think we're crazy for spending the, the time, the money, the energy, the effort. I don't think so. I think it's worth it. I know a lot of you watching think it's worth it. Vessi sponsoring us and matching donation funds. All of you who have donated, you know it's worth it for this little guy right here to know that he's loved. What do you think? How do you, <laughs> you, look, you look beat. I'm ready to go to bed. We got a couple more things we still got to do. What? I got something, are you ready? 
this. Oh, oh, yeah, my Hawaiian shirt. What's that? And for Coco. Oh, you got, you got a Hawaiian shirt for Coco. Yeah. Oh, let's put them on. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. You ready for this? Ready. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Coco, you're oh. so handsome. Look at you two. Styling, profiling. Hey. Hey. He's a little camera shy when it comes to fashion. I think we need to make Coco some treats. Yes. He's being such a good boy. Yes. You want a treat? Also, I just want to point out that we did these prints of Coco, I mean, last minute. We jumped on that. You were instrumental in getting yeah, that done. Yeah, that was fun. We're going to get Coco a family. Like, we're going to get him adopted. Until then, he is with us. Okay. We claim him as our own. Okay. So much so. Yeah. He lives in our hearts, but he also lives in history in our family portraits. <laughs> this is our family portrait when we announced that we were having a baby. And look who was there. <laughs> Coco. Photoshop may or may not have been involved in the making of this family portrait with Coco, but you know, details. Props for your Photoshop skills, man. <laughs> like last minute, I don't know how you pulled that off. Yeah. Oh, I got nothing. <laughs> you don't know how you pulled it off either? I don't know how I pulled it off either. It's, it's getting late. Hey, what do you think it's going to be like sleeping here? For you, I imagine it'll be a good snuggle time with Coco. For me, <laughs> I'm probably heading back to the hotel. <laughs> what? All right, fine, fine. <laughs> Okay, it's treat time for our little man right here. We're gonna make peanut butter, oatmeal, no-bake, little ball treat. You're just eating oats? <laughs> we can do better than that. He's on a health kick right now, you know? He just, pure steel cut oats, that's that's his go-to. It's a half cup of peanut butter. Ah, about a cup of oats, some maple syrup. It's just a dab, mix it up. Then what you do is you take it, you put it in the saran wrap and make little balls out of it. We'll put these in the coolers to cool. And <laughs> look, he's already going for it. He's already, he's, he's already having his treats. You don't have to roll them up in little balls for this guy. He loves them. You have anything you want, my man. Okay, the rest of the night was just pretty much magical. I mean, we got in our onesies. Yes, our onesies. That's what you do at a slumber party. <laughs> oh, and I pulled up my YouTube channel and we watched some of the videos. I told him about the dogs that have been in positions like him before. We went on awesome adventures and they eventually got a loving family and were in a loving home. And I told him he was next. It's coming. Eventually, we started to fall asleep. It took him a little bit longer because I don't think he wanted the fun to stop. But eventually, as the lights went down, and we fell asleep and I got the opportunity to comfort him. It's like he knew. He just knew that from here on out, he was gonna be okay and that he was loved. And all the work that we put into it that night was so worth it. Just to spend that time with him cuddling and reassuring him that he was safe. It's like 2 a.m. right now. And he gets a little scared because of the wind. So he wakes up every so often, but then just kind of pins his little head and get him to go back to sleep. He's one cute dog that loves to snuggle. not want to go to sleep for a while but um, it was really neat because I just kept comforting him and eventually he he just went to sleep and it was so it's really heartwarming and a couple of times it got really windy and he got scared and then he looked at me for comfort and it was just neat to see everything they go through and spend that time with sweet little man Coco and this morning roosters were even rooster <laughs> what are you doing right now oh ah, what is a sleepover without Pancakes. I'm mixing up the mix right there, and I've got my little portable right here. Here, are you gonna need this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Hey, can we, here. Let me see this real quick. <laughs> Tell me something. How did you sleep last night? I slept great. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The nice, uh, nice comfort of the hotel with yep. the pillows and the blankets and the air conditioning and wow. the showers. I mean, so. it's, it's rough being pregnant, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is. <laughs> you know what though? Uh, you still did good. You did really hard work, and you came here early this morning. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's alright, that's alright. Safe, safe. Ooh, look at that. That's a, that's a perfect little pancake right there. Stack them high. Instead of IHOP, it's like doggy hop right here. Maybe that's our next restaurant video, doggy hop. Okay, I'm gonna do just a little bit of just pure maple syrup. You gotta stick around to watch him eat those. Uh, but first, I gotta tell you something really exciting. We came up with a plan last night. This is Jamie Sue. Coco's foster mom. Hi! <laughs> so, uh, slumber party last night, a plan has been devised. You're gonna take Coco. Yes. To San Francisco. Yes. To a group that's going to continue to foster him so we can get him adopted on the mainland. Yes. Okay, what is the group? Every Pet's Dream. Every Pet's Dream, and uh, you can follow along. Just uh, follow along on my Instagram. I'll be doing Insta stories and updates so that we can get Coco adopted. I'll put that down below. Go follow the updates. You're gonna send pics of the plane Absolutely. flight and everything, right? Yes, yes. Uh, guys, fosters rule and fosters save <laughs> lives, so thank you seriously for fostering. I love it. Yeah, and thanks for not keeping us up all night. <laughs> 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 Do you want the pancakes? Do you want your pancakes? Do you want your pancakes? <gasps> Just wanted to let you know that the sweet boy Coco has arrived and he's doing great. We just came back from a nice walk and um, he's dog friendly, he's super sweet. Um, we would love to find this great guy at home. So thank you so much for all you're doing to help dogs, but especially for everything you've done to help Coco.